let's okay. start okay very good evening to everyone aaj paint vision ka ek naya chapter aur naya webinar hai is naye webinar ka subject bahut interesting hai jaise sabhi log jante hain aur ye isliye bhi interesting hai kyunki market ke andar abhi इसका बहुत ज्यादा अभी आ, मैं बोलूंगा कि यूज नहीं हो रहा है बट नया कहें या यू कहें कि एक नेक्स्ट लेवल पे जाने वाली बात है तो हम लोग एन यानी नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पॉलीयूरिथीन ये ये अपने आप में बहुत एक अच्छा और एक बड़ा ग्रेट साउंड कर रहा है कि नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पॉलीयूरिथीन जो है उस पर आज हम लोग इस वेबिनार को लेके आए हैं आपके सामने और हमारे साथ बहुत ही टैलेंटेड और बहुत ही यंग ब्लड यूथ कहूंगा हमारे साथ डॉक्टर दुर्गेश सोनी जी हैं एंड दुर्गेश कुमार सोनी बीटेक बीटेक पेंट टेक्नोलॉजी 2017 तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि 2017 से इन्होंने बीटेक किया है 2017 में कितने यंग और कितने यूथ और कितना एक मैं बोलूंगा कि नया टैलेंट है टू इयर्स वर्क एक्सपीरियंस इन मारुति सुजुकी इंडिया लिमिटेड पी इन पेंट टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एच बी कानपुर अंडर सुपरविजन ऑफ डॉक्टर अरुण मेथानी एंड डॉक्टर पी के कमानी इन मार्च 2023 जैसा मैं आपको बता रहा था कि यूथ की बात है तो 23 में ही डॉक्टर साहब ने डॉक्टरेट हासिल की है एंड दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंग फॉर पेन रीजन आल्सो कि वी आर हैविंग सच अ नाइस एंड अ ग्रेट यू नो जैसे हमारे इंडियन गवर्नमेंट भी इस समय यूथ को uh, आगे लेके आना चाह रही है एंड वी आर वेरी मच हैप्पी दैट दुर्गेश जी हु डन इज पी एच डी इन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विद अस एंड ही इज वर्किंग एट Rimbal as scientist in Ghaziabad and just joined as an assistant professor in paint technology at HBTU Kanpur. So we have a genius person, uh, an assistant professor, Dr. Durgesh Soni. Here you are, Dr. Durgesh. Thank you, Manish sir. And uh, first of all, a very good evening to all of you, all my seniors, uh, Maheshwari sir, Varun sir, and the uh, people from industry. And I thank uh, Manish sir for giving me an opportunity to present my work on non-isocyanate polyurethane on this platform. And a special thanks to Dr. Subhash Srivastava sir who introduced me to uh, Manish sir for, uh, and uh, he helped me to select this topic for this current webinar. So I'm just sharing my screen. Is it visible, sir? Yes, sir. Clearly, sir. Go ahead. So, uh, my topic is uh, uh, non-isocyanate polyurethane, that is NIPU. Uh, this is an eco-friendly resin system for the modern paints. And uh, on this topic, I completed my PhD under supervision of Arun Maithani, sir, and Pramod Kamani, sir. So, moving to the topic, uh, this is the content layout. First, uh, we will discuss about the polyurethanes, the conventional route and the limitations associated with it, and the chemistries for non-isocyanate polyurethane. And we will also discuss some state-of-the-art technologies. And the most popular chemistry, which is cyclic carbonate and amine chemistry, on which my PhD work was based. Then uh, I will discuss uh, brief about my PhD work in which I synthesized a copolymer of uh, butyl acrylate, glycidyl methacrylate, and I synthesized non-isocyanate polyurethane using epoxy resin. This is the graphical uh, abstract of my uh, PhD topic. I will move on this. So talking about the polyurethanes, as we all know, polyurethanes are the reaction products of the diisocyanates and polyols. Polyols may be polyester polyol or polyether polyol. And diisocyanates may be TDI, MDI, HMDI, maybe uh, aliphatic and aromatic diisocyanates. And uh, if we talk about its properties, we know that it has a very good, high, uh, very high abrasion resistance, uh, very good chemical resistance. And hardness and flexibility is also good. And it is available in wide range of properties because the properties are dependent on the raw materials we select for the synthesis of material. And there are a very wide uh, range of raw materials required for the polyurethanes. Uh, basically, we can design our product according to the raw, select, proper selection of the raw materials. So in the figure, we can see that diisocyanates and oligomeric polyols after reaction, they form the polyurethane link, polyurethane bonds. And this is uh, characterized by that is NHCOO linkage that we called urethane or carbamate linkage. 
we uh, also know that isocyanates uh, are very toxic so basically these are the some limitations because isocyanates are itself synthesized by the reaction of phosgene phosgene is a very uh, poisonous gas and uh, these are the monomeric form of isocyanates are very volatile highly volatile because of their high vapor pressure and during the synthesis, uh, during the manufacturing, there is a very great chance of exposure of isocyanates to the workers. And uh, we are all aware about the Bhopal gas tragedy, which was caused by the leak of methyl isocyanates. So it, uh, it is important to note here that all the isocyanate raw materials which we use for the synthesis of polyurethane are from the same family. So uh, more or less, all the isocyanates are very toxic in nature. So to avoid the toxicity, some techniques are used currently, because, uh, like uh, polymerization of uh, isocyanates or using the high molecular uh, weight of isocyanates. But still, the raw material is very toxic and we need to avoid this. And uh, exposure of these isocyanates can cause skin irritation, mucous membrane, chest tightness, asthma, and even the long-term exposure can also cause death. So the, the free molecule of the isocyanates are very uh, 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 reactive towards the uh, moisture and they can easily react with moisture to form the very hard and unusable product. So it is totally the loss of material if it is exposed to moisture anyhow. So during the, uh, during the transportation and storage also, we have to take a great care so that uh, uh, it does not come in contact with the moisture. Uh, properties we have discussed uh, if we talk about the conventional types of polyurethane there are five types of polyurethane as per the AHTM classification type one corresponds to urethane alkyds that are air drying uh, uh, polyurethanes type two is the moisture curable polyurethane type three is the blocked adduct uh, uh, isocyanate urethane that is the uh, baking system which are uh, used as a uh, uh, which are used as in in one component of uh, when which blocked isocyanates are used, when temperature reaches to a certain level, the uh, deblocking takes place and the two components react to the react to form the polyurethane. Type four is again two component moisture cure plus catalyst, and type five, which is most commonly is used in all the industries, are two component uh, polyisocyanate plus polyol. Some more types like type six is one k non-reactive low solid that may be corresponding to the lacquer films. Apart from this, polyurethanes are also available in powder coatings, radiation curable coatings, and water bone uh, coatings. We also know as aqueous polyurethane dispersions. So, uh, considering all the limitations, the current environmental scenario, and the regulations uh, force us to think beyond the uh, conventional uh, methods of the synthesis. So, it is always a difficult task to develop an eco friendly material, but uh, it is not impossible. We have to adopt the way. So in, in case of non-isocyanate polyurethane, no any toxic material is used. And also it is a sustainable utilization of carbon dioxide because we see in the current scenario that uh, global warming is increasing day by day. So if we can utilize the carbon dioxide, it is a very green approach towards the uh, synthesis of material. So uh, uh, talking about carbon dioxide, it's capturing and utilization. It is an infinite carbon resource present on Earth. And uh, again, the uh, carbon emissions uh, are uh, very crucial for every industry. Everyone is trying to reduce the carbon footprints. So there are basically three methods for carbon dioxide capture, pre-combustion carbon capture, post-combustion carbon capture, and oxy-combustion carbon capture. In pre-combustion carbon capture, uh, we just... Uh, react the uh, uh, fuel fossil fuels uh, uh, with the air and uh, the co2 is captured after the reaction uh, before the reaction and post combustion after burning fuel co2 is captured in oxy combustion the uh, uh, air which is uh, uh, purified and nitrogen is removed then that pure oxygen is reacted with the fuel and that CO2 uh, is captured, CO2 released is captured. So this uh, CO2 capturing and utilization is very useful like uh, for the synthesis of polymers like polycyclic carbonates, which I will show you how uh, we synthesize the polycyclic carbonates for the non-isocyanate PU. It is also used in various industries like carbonated water and fire extinguisher, etc. So this is just a brief. I have not uh, done uh, any work on this carbon capturing and utilization. I have just used the carbon dioxide as it is. I have purchased the CO2 cylinder from the market. 
So uh, coming to the non-isocyanate route for synthesis of poly polyurethane, there are various chemistries available in the literature. Uh, the three chemistries, which are like, first one is the cyclic carbonate and amine chemistry. It is the most popular chemistry. Second one is the Michael addition reaction between malonate and acrylol. And third one is the reaction of polyaldehydes with carbamate functional polymers using an acid catalyst. In the figure, we can see like polyepoxides which are reacted with carbon dioxide to form the polycyclic carbonate. After reacting with the diamine, they form the hydroxyurethane linkage. This I will explain further also. In the second figure, we can see various compounds which have the epoxy groups like 1,4-butane diol diglycyl ether or simple, uh, we can say epoxy regions or the multifunctional epoxy groups. These all have epoxy groups. So these are the basic raw materials required for the non-isocyanate polyurethane. The main, step, uh, the main step is to synthesize the cyclic carbonate group because when, one, uh, when the epoxy group reacts with the carbon dioxide, the cyclic carbonate group is formed. So coming to the first chemistry, it is a reaction of polyaldehydes with carbamate functional polymers using an acid catalyst. So in the figure, we can see polycarbamates are synthesized by a reaction which is called transcarbamylation reaction of polyols with urea use at a, using catalyst at a high temperature. So functionality of poly, uh, polycarbamate may be uh, greater than 2, like 2.5, and polyaldehydes may be di, tri, acetyl, or hemiacetyl. And also, Lewis, Lewis acid can be used, and it is to be performed in the acidic medium. This has the advantage, like it is also room temperature curable, it has a long uh, pot life, and a very fast drying properties are available in this. Second chemistry is the Michael addition reaction between malonate and acrylol. In the figure, we can see that uh, this is a malonate and acrylol. After reaction, this uh, it forms the uh, uh, urea linkage, urea similar to urea linkage. The third one the, is the polycyclic carbonate oligomers and diamines, which is the most popular in which we can see this, uh, this is the oligomeric cyclic carbonate group. When it react with the diamine, the hydroxyurethane linkages are obtained. Hydroxyurethane linkages means the uh, urethane linkage plus an additional secondary or primary hydroxyl group. As we can see in the figure, this, this is the secondary hydroxyl group nearby the uh, urethane linkage. And in the B part, it is the primary hydroxyl group nearby the urethane linkage. So this is the basically ring opening addition reaction. And uh, the uh, cyclic carbonate oligomers may be aliphatic or aromatic depending upon the raw material as we select for the epoxy groups. And the curing agent may be ethylene diamine, hexamethylene diamine, or any aliphatic or aromatic diamines can be used as a curing agent. So cyclic carbonate group is the most uh, key, uh, <clears throat> most important for the synthesis of non-isocyanate polyurethane. So for the synthesis of poly, poly uh, this uh, polycyclic carbonate groups, the main requirement is the epoxy group. This epoxy, when react with CO2, it, it the three-membered epoxy is converted into the five-membered cyclic carbonate group. So uh, for this reaction, the pressure of carbon dioxide may be 20 to 50 bar. Basically, in the previous literatures, which I have used for my PhD, I saw that they were using uh, 20 bar, 30 bar pressure. But a very recent research by Professor Vijay Mannari from Eastern Michigan University, he conducted, he has worked a lot on this uh, non isocyanate polyurethanes. He has conducted all his experiments at the room temperature of, uh, sorry, atmospheric pressure of carbon dioxide. So I just use that method only. So uh, like different epoxy functional group can be used to obtain cyclic carbonate group and the kinetic study of carbonation of epoxy group show that the rate of reaction is directly proportional to the concentration of epoxy group as well as the catalyst. So it is a sustainable utilization of CO2 as discussed, low toxicity and easily available because carbon dioxide is a cheap material, it is, it is easily available. So coming to next slide. This, these are the some works done by uh, Professor Vijay Mannari, like uh, uh, this is the uh, 1K thermoset coatings uh, synthesized by him, like he used multifunctional epoxy group and uh, using CO2 and a, and a particular catalyst, he converted epoxy groups into the multifunctional cyclic carbonate groups and using multiple these raw materials after curing with <clears throat> this monoethanolamine, he synthesized non-isocyanate polyurethane polyol. 
so once this polyol is synthesized it can be cross linked with the conventional cross linkers like uh, melamine formaldehyde and urea formaldehyde resin in which methyl all groups are present so after reacting with those oh group that the films can be cured in this reaction we can see like this polyol which was synthesized it is nipu polyol it react with the uh, melamine formaldehyde having a uh, multiple oh groups the cross link the cross linking is obtained and uh, sorry and we we can get the cured polymer that is 1k thermoset coatings this is another example of uh, room temperature curable coatings in which multifunctional epoxy is again converted into multifunctional cyclic carbonate and after reacting with the aliphatic and uh, cycloaliphatic polyamine the polyurethane can be obtained so polyurethane can uh, polyurethane can be obtained which uh, which has a terminated by uh, amine group and once amine group terminated amine terminated free polymer is obtained we are very uh, familiar with the epoxy amine systems which are very uh, which are used very commonly so th this again forms the epoxy amine system which can be cured with the multifunctional epoxy group and after the reaction with this amine and epoxy group we can obtain two component high solid non isocyanate polyurethane coatings which are curable at room temperature apart from this uh, some uh, silicon modifications are also available like uh, in the figure we can see these are the silicon modification of uh, uh, this non isocyanate pu coating in which a uh, monomer is used having an unsaturation with a epoxy group again this uh, this monomer is incorporated in this chain and after reaction with co2 this epoxy group can be converted into the cyclic carbonate group further by curing with amine we can obtain the non isocyanate polyurethane doctor this is a yes thoda sa non technically matlab hum log zyada chemistry jo kar rahe hai na yahan par sab log you know sare padhe likhe nahi hai means some people okay. are here we are all, they are all laymen to so, thoda sa hum <laughs> laymen ki ya aisa bhi soch ke chale ki yahan pe non technical log hain to unko bhi ye topic acche se samajh mein aa jaye to aisa thoda sa dekh le please thank you okay i will try but uh, since phd topic is purely technical i will try to incorporate but uh, the whole slide side only technical only <laughs> i will try okay uh, this is the but epoxy thoda, group thi, thi hai, wo, uh, i can understand but thoda sa usme hum log ye easy way mein thoda samjha de taki mere jaise jo log hai unko bhi samajh mein aa jaye ki what we are talking about theek hai theek hai sir main puri koshish karta hu jaise this is the epoxy resin jo ki normal epoxy resin hamara diglycidyl ether of bisphenol acetone jaise तो सही इक्वेलेंट वेट का जो इपॉक्सी रेजिन आता है उसकी मदद से भी हम कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड से रिएक्शन करा के कार्बोनेट साइक्लो कार्बोनेटेड इपॉक्सी बनाते हैं ये भी मेरे एक आ, काम का हिस्सा रहा है आगे मैं शो करता हूँ इसके अलावा जो इपॉक्सी नोवोलैक आता है जिसको कि बहुत ज्यादा यूज किया जाता है बेकिंग फिनिशेज में भी उससे भी हम नॉन आइसोसाइनिट पी बना सकते हैं लैंग्वेज इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ना वी कैन यू आई कैन यूज हिंदी और इंग्लिश बहुत 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 हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश बहुत ठीक ठीक है, है। 60, 70 इंग्लिश एंड 30, 40 हिंदी। थैंक यू। ओके इसके अलावा दिस ये जो मॉलिक्यूल है इसमें हमारा एक ट्राई ग्लिसराइड शो किया गया है जैसे कि सोयाबीन ऑयल है लिंसिड ऑयल है जो कि सभी लोग आई थिंक परिचित होंगे इन सब मॉलिक्यूल से तो इसमें अनसेचुरेशन एक पार्ट होता है सोयाबीन ऑयल में और लिंसिड ऑयल में बहुत ज्यादा अनसेचुरेशन पाया जाता है लिंसिड ऑयल हमारा ड्राइंग ऑयल की कैटेगरी में है सोयाबीन ऑयल हमारा सेमी ड्राइंग ऑयल की कैटेगरी में आता है तो इसमें जो अनसेचुरेशन होता है अनसेचुरेशन पे हम जब ऑक्सीडेशन कराते हैं तो वो अनसेचुरेशन हमारा कन्वर्ट हो जाता है इपॉक्सी ग्रुप में एंड एक बार जैसे ही इपॉक्सी ग्रुप आया ये हमारे लिए एक रॉ मेटेरियल होगा नॉन आइसोसाइडेड पीयू के लिए इसकी हम सीओ से रिएक्शन करा के अगेन साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट ग्रुप सिंथेसिस कर सकते हैं तो ये सारे वो अप्रोचेस थे कि जिससे हम जिससे मैंने ये बताया कि हम किस तरीके से उस रॉ मेटेरियल तक पहुंच सकते हैं जिससे कि नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पी बनाया जा सकता है तो नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पी बनाने के लिए सबसे पहले रिक्वायरमेंट है कि ऐसा कोई हम कंपाउंड हो दें जिसमें इपॉक्सी ग्रुप हो इसके लिए कन्वेंशनल इपॉक्सी रेजेंस हो गए अगर इपॉक्सी ग्रुप नहीं है तो उसमें हम किसी तरीके से इपॉक्सी ग्रुप इनकॉर्पोरेट करा दें कि जैसा कि हमने ऑयल्स में एग्जांपल बताया एक बार जैसे इपॉक्सी ग्रुप आया उसकी हम सीओ से रिएक्शन कराते हैं तो वो फाइव मेंबर साइकिल कार्बोनेट ग्रुप में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है और साइकिल कार्बोनेट ग्रुप की ही जब हम डाइमिन से रिएक्शन कराते हैं तो वो पॉलीयूरेथेन लिंकेज में कन्वर्ट होता है ये बेसिक फिनोमिना है नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पॉलीयूरेथेन का मेरा जो वर्क था ये ग्लाइसिडिल एक्राइलेट एंड ग्लाइसिडिल मेथा एक्राइलेट ये बहुत ही पॉपुलर 
मोनोमर्स हैं ग्लाइसिडिल मेथाइक रेलेट तो बहुत ज्यादा यूज भी किया जाता है इंडस्ट्रीज में क्योंकि नॉर्मल जैसे एक्रेलिक इमल्शन वगैरह हम बनाते हैं उसमें यूज नहीं होता है इसके अलावा थर्मोसेटिंग एक्रेलिक्स में कभी कभार ग्लाइसिडिल मेथाइक रेलेट का यूज कर लिया जाता है क्योंकि नॉर्मल एक्रेलिक इमल्शन जो हमारे होते हैं नॉर्मली ब्यूटाइल एक्रेलेट मेथाइल मेथाइक रेलेट इन्हीं सब पॉलीमर्स इन्हीं सब मोनोमर्स पर बेस्ड होते हैं तो ये स्पेशल मोनोमर का सिलेक्शन इसलिए किया गया ताकि इसमें इपॉक्सी ग्रुप हमें मिले और हम इसकी मदद से अपना साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट ग्रुप सिंथिसाइज कर पाए सो इन दिस मोनोमर्स दिस टू कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ग्रुप्स आर प्रेजेंट वन इज अनसेचुरेशन एंड वन इज इपॉक्सी ग्रुप अनसेचुरेशन इज यूटिलाइज फॉर द फ्री रेडिकल पॉलिमराइजेशन एंड इपॉक्सी ग्रुप इज यूटिलाइज फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट ग्रुप्स like we can see in this reaction there are three methods for the synthesis of uh, polymers using the glycidyl methylacrylate sabse pehle kya kare ek to polymer bana le jisme ki multiple epoxy groups honge hamare paas polymer banane ke baad kyunki wo free radical polymerization se ek aisa polymer milega jisme hame bahut sare epoxy groups honge ek bar wo polymer bana then uski carbon dioxide se reaction karayenge to hame multiple cyclic carbonate groups mil sakte hain second method is that the first we react with, uh, the monomer with carbon dioxide to create a cyclic carbon uh, a monomer with cyclic carbonate group followed by the polymerization and the third method is the simultaneous uh, पॉलीमराइजेशन एंड कार्बोनेशन ऑफ द इपॉक्सी ग्रुप इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ कैटेडिस्ट तो इससे हमें दोनों ग्रुप्स मिल जाएंगे इपॉक्सी ग्रुप भी कुछ मिलेगा और कुछ साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट ग्रुप्स भी मिलेंगे इसको मैं आगे मूव करता हूं क्योंकि आगे भी है तो बेसिकली मेरा जो वर्क बेस्ड था दैट वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द सिंथेसिस ऑफ नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पॉलिथिन यूजिंग इपॉक्सी रेजिन ऑफ इक्वेलेंट ऑफ इपॉक्सी इक्वेलेंट विथ टू हंड्रेड एंड यूजिंग द ग्लाइसिडिल मेथा एक्राइलेट सिस्टम so uh, the, the objective was also you uh, to utilize co2 which was the mon- most inexpensive form of carbon present on the earth and to get the extraordinary properties of polyurethane using non isocyanate route for the manufacturing of pu so this was my first trial in which i took glycidyl methylacrylate and butylacrylate and methyl methylacrylate these three monomers which i used in the presence of dimethyl sulfoxide which are which was used as a solvent AIBN was used as a free radical initiator which was uh, helpful for the radical polymerization and this catalyst tetrabutyl ammonium bromide this is the catalyst which is used for converting the epoxy groups into the cyclic carbonate groups and the last raw material is CO2 which was used in the cylinder uh, CO2 cylinder which was filled in a balloon and it was attached to the reaction flask so these are the basic raw materials which were used in the first trial and uh, this is a procedure like uh, in the three neck flask all the raw materials were charged all the monomers were charged so isme basically humne kya kiya pehle uh, free radical polymerization ke sath sath carbon dioxide ka humne uh, gas bhi attach kar diya taki ek sath hi hamara polymerization bhi ho aur ek sath hamara कार्बोनेशन भी हो इपॉक्सी कुछ इपॉक्सी ग्रुप हमारे साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट ग्रुप्स में कन्वर्ट भी हो जाए जैसे यहाँ पे देख सकते हैं इसमें तीन मोनोमर्स लिए हैं ये हमारा ब्यूटाइल एक्राइलेट है ये ग्लाइसिडिल मेथाइक्राइलेट है एंड दिस इज द मिथाइल मेथाइक्राइलेट व्हेन वी टुक व्हेन वी कैरी आउट द रिएक्शन द फोर यूनिट्स आर ऑप्टेंड इन द पॉलीमर चेन द थ्री आर एज इट इज एंड द फोर्थ वन बिकॉज सम ऑफ द ग्लाइसिडिल मेथाइक्राइलेट मोनोमर्स वी आर कन्वर्टेड with the five membered cyclic carbonate groups so in this way we can incorporate the cyclic carbonate group in the conventional polymer system all this reaction was carried out at the uh, normal atmospheric pressure slightly above 1 at 1 atm of the co2 and reaction was performed for 6 uh, hours at 80 degrees celsius और एक बात यह है कि कैसे पता चले कि हमें CO, जो epoxy group है वो cyclic carbonate group में convert hua ki nahi hua तो इसके लिए एक टेस्ट मेथड होता है जिसको हम कहते हैं परसेंट ओ ओ सी दैट इज ऑक्सीरेन ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट ऑक्सीरेन यानी कि जो इपॉक्सी ग्रुप है तो उसमें जो ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट है वो हमें पता चलता है स्टाइट्रेशन से ए एस टी एम डी वन सिक्स फाइव टू मेथड है तो इन दिस मेथड एज सुन एज द रिएक्शन प्रोसीड फर्दर द परसेंट ओ ओ सी दैट इज द इपॉक्सी ग्रुप Uh, content it reduces because the conversion will take place of the epoxy group into the cyclic carbonate group and as the reaction proceeds the uh, concentration of this epoxy group will reduce and the concentration of cyclic carbonate group will be increased in this way we can uh, 
track the uh, carbonation reaction, that is the uh, conversion of epoxy into the cyclic carbonate group, we can track this part. So percent oxygen oxygen content as discussed, it is a based on the titration method. Initially, uh, it is used as a, a it, it is uh, titrated with the 0.1 N per chloric acid solution in the presence of tetrabutyl ammonium bromide as a reagent and crystal wallet indicator solution. So during the course of reaction, during a six hours of reaction, the percent OOC reduces from 4.3 to 1.1. It shows that the epoxy group content has reduced. And since we have uh, uh, connected the CO2 balloon, that means the epoxy groups are converted into the cyclic carbonate group. It was also verified by the FTIR spectra, I will show you. Like uh, in this figure, we can see uh, this is the FTIR spectrum of the uh, polymer. In this reaction, at 1800, at 900, uh, 909, it is corresponding to the epoxy group. And at 1800, it is corresponding to the cyclic carbonate group. So after, during the after the six hours of reaction, the epoxy group ki jo peak thi 909 cyclic carbonate peak hai, wo peak generate honi shuru hui. Is tarike se pata chala ki epoxy group hamara cyclic carbonate group mein convert ho raha hai. Agar hum mechanism ki baat kare, to basically uh, jo epoxy group se cyclic carbonate group ke convert honi ka procedure hai. This is a uh, ring opening reaction. Like this is tetra uh, Butyl ammonium, tetra butyl ammonium bromide, ye catalyst hai hamara. Is, is catalyst, uh, jaise hi ye catalyst hamara uh, cyclic uh, epoxy group pe attack karta hai, ye epoxy group open hota hai. Or again, jaise ye oxygen hai, ye oxygen carbon dioxide pe attack karta hai, is tarikhe se carbon dioxide is ring ka ek hissa ban jata hai. And in the last step, this catalyst comes out, aur ye jo three-membered ring hai, wo five-membered ring mein convert ho jati hai to ye ek brief mechanism tha ki kis tarike se three membered ring hamara five membered cyclic carbonate group mein convert hota hai iske alawa uh, this reaction was also confirmed by the nmr spectrum nmr like uh, the peaks at 3.238 and 2.609 which were corresponding to epoxy group that reduced and a new peak at 5.035 and 4.579 which were corresponding to the cyclic carbonate group emerged in the reaction. So it was verified by uh, both the things. So this is the FTR spectrum of the cured polymer. Like uh, in the black, we can see uh, it is a polymer with cyclic carbonate group. And in the red, we can see after curing with ethylene diamine. So just to observe whether the reaction is taking place with cyclic carbonate and amine, it was cured with ethylene diamine. And uh, accordingly, we can see that the peaks at 1800, uh, which reduced and the new peak at uh, this point at uh, 1720 and 3350, it emerged which were corresponding to the urethane linkages. So uh, some properties were studies of the curing of polymer with diamine. In uh, ethylene diamine, से जब हमने क्यूरिंग किया कुछ पॉलीमर्स सैंपल को लेके और उसको एक पर्टिकुलर रेशियो में मिक्स किया और उसको कुछ देर के लिए 140 डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर 30 मिनट्स हमने उसको बेक किया तो कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज हमने आफ्टर 48 आवर्स चेक किए तो इनिशियली जैसे इथिलीन डाइमीन से जब हमने चेक किया तो एडहेशन में हमें बहुत ज्यादा अच्छा रिजल्ट नहीं मिला जैसे 3b 4b एंड जो rp है वो रिएक्टिव पॉलीएमाइड है रिएक्टिव पॉलीएमाइड वी कैन सी दैट इट इट इज अ पॉलीमर हैविंग हैविंग nh2 ग्रुप्स एट टर्मिनल दैट इज एमीन ग्रुप एंड टर्मिनल सो व्हेन इट रिएक्ट विद द आवर कोपॉलीमर अ गुड रिजल्ट वेयर ऑब्टेंड इन एडहेशन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी एंड ग्लॉस आल्सो पेंसिल हार्डनेस वाज आल्सो 2h एंड ऑल द फिल्म्स ऑफ द which were cured with the reactive polyamide passed the water resistance test. So, this is a better result when we got from the reactive polyamide se curing. Karai. इसके अलावा एक सेकंड ट्रायल ये था कि मिथाइल मिथाइल मिथाइक रिलेट और ग्लाइसिडिल मिथाइक रिलेट ये दोनों ही मोनोमर्स ऐसे हैं जो फिल्म में हार्डनेस प्रोवाइड करते हैं तो इन द सेकंड ट्रायल वी ट्राई टू रिड्यूस द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ uh, glycidyl methacrylate and replace the methyl methacrylate with the butyl acrylate which is which imparts the flexibility into the film again the solvents were also changed like butanol and xylene were uh, used which are which are very commonly used in the paints 
and uh, the catalyst was same AIBN for the free radical polymerization and for the carbonation a second catalyst was uh, used which is methyl triphenyl phosphonium iodide. So again in this reaction we can see that here a small peak is generated corresponding to 1800 which were uh, initially absent. In the black we can see there is no peak at 1800 and in the red, uh, uh, red graph the new peak at 1800 uh, was emerged which was attributed to the cyclic carbonate group. Again it was also confirmed by the NMR spectroscopy and uh, this is the uh, reaction after uh, curing with the ethylene diamine. Again the same things were there like uh, the cyclic carbonate group peak disappeared and the new peak uh, corresponding to the carbonyl group and uh, uh, hydroxyl group were emerged which confirmed the curing of the reaction. Uh, some properties were studies after reaction with ethylene diamine and reactive polyamide and uh, again the same pattern was obtained in as the previous one in the reactive polyamide the uh, results were good and uh, uh, in the last trial the reactive polyamide and ethylene diamine a combination of both these catalysts was used uh, which shows some good so uh, moving to the next slide uh, this was our third trial in which the epoxy group is epoxy group was used. Am I audible? Yes, yes, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Uh, third trial was based on the conventional epoxy resin, which was reacted with the carbon dioxide. So again, जब हमने इसको carbon dioxide से reaction कराया, तो cyclic carbonate group हमें terminals पे मिला. इसको भी हमने same process से track किया, like uh, uh, percent oxygen oxygen content FTIR and NMR से. तो ये हमारा basic uh, raw materials थे, जो कि epoxy resin है, और इसको हमने solvent में बोला methyl cellulose solvent reaction as a reaction medium लिया, methyl triphenyl phosphonium iodide as a catalyst, and ethylene diamine was used as a curing agent, and some part was also used as reactive polyamide. So synthesis of this cyclocarbonated uh, epoxy resin was like that. And the first, the resin was dissolved in the solvent, methyl cellulose, and then two more percent of the epoxy compound, the catalyst uh, uh, was dissolved in this. And it uh, the three, uh, first, uh, before uh, starting the reaction, the three neck flask was flushed with the dry carbon dioxide so that the air uh, already occupied in the uh, flask can be replaced by carbon dioxide. Then a filled balloon with the carbon dioxide was attached to the flask. And this whole reaction was performed at 70 degrees Celsius for 20 hours. And uh, progress was again tracked by percent OOC. And uh, aminolysis of the cyclocarbonated epoxy resin was performed using reactive polyamide resin, ethylene diamine. And uh, this is the application method. It was stared for 30 seconds. A new uniform film thickness of 50 micron was applied using a bar film applicator. These panels were kept at room temperature for 30 minutes for flash off. Uske baad 160 degrees Celsius pe Fir uske again characterization ki hai, FTI, NMR, on cross cut or flexibility test jo hai. To isme bhi percent OOC agar hum dekhe, to 3.56 se reduce hoke 1.48 tak aya during the 20 hours of reaction. Or FTIR peak ki agar hum baat kare, to Again, here, the peak of 1800 is a sharp peak generated, which was the cyclic carbonate group corresponding to and the epoxy group peak, which was 909, was disappeared. This confirmed the conversion of epoxy group to the cyclic carbonate group. And uh, this is the NMR spectrum of the uh, uh, reactant and the product. This is the reactant and this is the product. And correspondingly, the uh, peaks can be seen like at 3.238 and 2.609. It is corresponding to the CH and CH2 of the epoxy group. And at 5.035 and 4.579, it is corresponding to the CH and CH2 of the cyclic carbonate group, which also confirmed that the uh, epoxy groups have been converted into the cyclic carbonate groups. So again, in this reaction, like this is the cyclocarbonated epoxy resin, when it was cured with the uh, diamine, uh, the urethyl linkage was obtained. We can see also, like at 1800, this peak was uh, disappeared completely. 
and uh, the black one shows the uh, original CCER cyclocarbonated and in the red we can see at 1800 there is no any peak and a uh, new peak at 1720 corresponding to the carbonyl group and uh, at 3340 uh, corresponding to the hydroxyl group uh, was emerged which confirmed the uh, formation of urethane linkages. Also in this uh, some uh, a study was uh, performed for the uh, reaction of uh, reaction with the uh, different curing agent like ethylene diamine and reactive polyamide. So uh, this was the reference sample in which uh, the pure epoxy resin without cyclocarbonation it was used with the reactive polyamide and DM30 as an addition promoter. The addition was obtained 4B. And when it was the cyclocarbonated epoxy resin was cured with a reactive polyamide, the addition was 5P. Flexibility tests were passed by both of them and the pencil hardness also increased from 3H to 4H after the cyclic, uh, after the reaction with a cyclic carbonate group. And sim uh, similarly, uh, the resistance properties also improved uh, when it was reacted with the cyclic carbonate group. This is the uh, result of uh, chemical resistance properties like uh, this is the reference one and uh, which reactive polyamide was used. So uh, almost uh, we can see water resistance was some sort uh, 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 slightly poorer than the reference sample and alkali resistance was also good uh, for reactive polyamide 10% uh, and DM30. So uh, at the rating of 5, no any such defect was uh, found. Mm -hmm. Acid resistance was comparatively poor for this, for some of the samples. So these are basically all my trials which were performed in the uh, during my... This is the concluding slide. Like uh, in the conclusion, we can see that the formation of 5 member uh, cyclic carbonate group was confirmed by the FTIR and NMR. And methyl methacrylate, glycidyl methacrylate, when these were used in higher percentage, it leads to the formation of very brittle films. So butyl acrylate was introduced in the copolymer. And some catalysts like tetrabutyl ammonium bromide and methyl triphenyl phosphonium iodide, these are very suitable catalysts for the converting uh, epoxy group into the cyclic carbonate group. And also this reaction can be performed at the uh, atmospheric pressure. And uh, second, all second conclusion was that a uh, radical polymerization and uh, the uh, carbonation of the glycidyl methylate both can be carried out simultaneously. There is no need to do it in two steps, so it is an in situ process. And aliphatic and cycloaliphatic diamines can be used as a, a curing agent depending upon the requirement of the properties. And apart from this, uh, if we incorporate like. Uh, <laughs> acrylic acid or methacrylic acid in the copolymer, some water dispersible system can also be obtained, which may be the future work. And uh, this is the, that uh, at 909 epoxy peaks rate usage and at 1800 uh, cyclic carbonate group appears. This is common in every reaction. And the uh, best result were obtained when the reactive polyamide was used as a curing agent. And uh, so this is an eco-friendly route for the synthesis of PU. And by using the epoxy region of different molecular weights, the NAPU technology may find use in those applications of epoxy region like powder coating, radiation curable coatings also. These are the future aspects of this topic. And uh, if you talk about the application, this uh, NIPU can be applied to all those applications in which the conventional polyurethanes are used, like marine coatings, underground pipelines, bridges, automotive, mainly automotive top coats. And uh, apart from this, these are all. This can also be used in the manufacturing of artificial leather and uh, shoe soles. Basically, when I was working uh, previous to this job, I was working in Rumble. That was. Uh, uh, that is the company which manufactures which manufactures the um, polyols and pre polymers of the polyurethane. So I was also working on this project uh, there that uh, how we can make the shoe soles using the non isocyanate PU technique. And uh, these are some references and uh, my acknowledgement thanks to the analytical chemistry lab, Asian Paints, Department of Chemistry, IT Kanpur, Department of Oil Technology, HBDU Kanpur, and Pact, and special thanks to Paint Vision. And at last, thank you all for your active listening and thanks a lot. This is all from my side, sir. Uh, thanks, Durgesh, sir. Here are some questions. 
And if anybody yes, wants yes, to yes. ask any question, they can raise their hand. Uh, first, we are coming with Mr. Varun Verma. Varun ji, please ask your question. Uh, Durga ji, thanks. I thought you have all your PhD ka jo bhi lab work tha, tumne bahut, uh, honestly is good. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Achha, mere do, do question hai. Ek to jo tumne, yes, uh, synthesis kari hai. It's yes, like uh, jo aap, uh, uh, jo, uh, carbonation kar rahe ho. Uh, how yes, is that the flexibility part of it? Because paint may sif hardness uh, matter nahi hai. It's like flexibility that also contribute in the long term performance. So number one wo hai mera. Dousra yes, tumne beech mein third or fourth slide pe ek aur uh, dikhaya tha jis mein silicon ke saath epoxidation kiya hai. Haan, yes. Further kya aage test kara tha? What was the performance of that molecule? No, no. Silicon, uh, sir, pehle question ke agar mein baat karu to jo uh, carbonation jab hum kar rahe hai to is mein humara koi flexibility ka koi role nahi hai. Flexibility का role हमारा initial raw material में ही है क्योंकि carbonation करने से हमारे flexibility या hardness में बहुत ज़्यादा कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सर अच्छा okay 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 क्योंकि जैसे हमने glycidyl में था लिया और butylic radiate लिया ये initial monomer की अपने properties हैं हमारा carbonation से hardness और flexibility पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा है तो ये जो hardness and flexibility मैंने अपने topic में show किया है उसका carbonation से कोई relation नहीं है वो अपने polymer की property है सर Achha, okay. And okay. second thing, which you are silicon, ka pooch rahe the, sil that part was from the literature. Wo silicon pe maine kaam nahi kiya hai. Wo mere okay. literature okay. survey ka part tha. Okay. Yes, sir. A second question uh, from Dr. R. Baloji. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Actually, first of all, thank you to you actually for uh, bringing up this uh, new topic. Okay. Thank uh, you, sir. And uh, my uh, thanks to Manish ji also for uh, arranging such a nice topics every Saturday. And my questions are: Yes, sir. What is the you okay? You have given um, uh, comparative studies and all those things is okay. But uh, have you compared this Nipu polyurethanes with uh, existing polyurethanes in terms of uh, in all performance? Because whenever I have seen your slides, no, in that I come to know it is the tables, uh, mechanical properties are very poor when compared to existing PU, polyurethanes. Yes, sir. That is one thing. And mm. second thing is that what is the economic, uh, means uh, the paint, uh, whenever we are, means what you have shown that epoxy resin is already available in whatever the, what you have, you have modified, no? That epoxy yes, resin we already using for formulation paint formulation that itself okay. is okay after that we are adding some more steps it will increase the cost huh yes sir so so many steps we are adding and then we are, that one we are using for uh, uh, making paints and things are there no then that cost is increases more and um, after that also we are not using that as a single polymer again we have to add some hardener or curing agent like reactive poly Amine, you told. So yes, sir. It takes some uh, means it is not a uh, means a cost effective phenomena as for my view. And uh, another thing is that whatever the <clears throat> synthesis you have shown, no, in all the synthesis in FTR spectra, uh, there are so many means other peaks are there. Yes, sir. I'll speak about only particular uh, peaks, but in 2300. Hmm. There are so much uh, CO2 peaks it we have I have observed. Okay. Means, uh, uh, you have not commented on that. And another thing is that uh, in this uh, you have told that uh, do you have any literature ki uh, this nipu polyurethanes which are using for marine coatings? Because as for my knowledge, this uh, type of coatings are not useful for marine application due to that. Uh, this uh, high level, high amount of functionality, you know, that marine uh, in the marine environment, it hydrolyzes actually like uh, polyester, polyols, like that. No, we don't use for marine applications. Okay, okay. So these are thank my comments, sir. Thank you. So uh, okay, yeah. Thank you for the comments, uh, first of all. And uh, uh, regarding comparative study, I have not uh, made such a, a comparison with the conventional polyurethanes because. Uh, my project was basically to study, uh, to synthesize this uh, polyurethane using this technique. You are right. I should have done this uh, comparative studies to get an idea uh, that how exactly we are approaching. 
and the second one is the raw material cost uh, you are right also in this aspect because the raw material cost will increase uh, because we are adding further processes in these steps so this is this was just a uh, very introductory uh, part of my research further uh, we will uh, uh, carry out more work on this because uh, it was also a, a limitation, time limitation to complete the task. So uh, no doubt we will uh, work on these topics also. And regarding marine coating, you are right. Uh, I am. I have shown this application not uh, to be used in NUPU, but in future, if we uh, can synthesize this NUPU, this can be used. Not surely, but uh, might be used. So thank you for your comments, sir. We will uh, consider it in my future works. Thank you no, very much. Dr. Meshwari, sir, ask the question, sir. Sir, you have a mobile menu, you have an option. You have a mic on, sir. <clears throat> sir, you have a mic on, nahi hai, sir. Baro, sir, aro, sir. Kuch logo ka aur bhi questions hai, because Kafi logo ke is, is topic ke par abhi cheeze aa rahi thi niranjan bhote uh unka question hai sir is there any chances of uh, glacian during processing <clears throat> glacian during processing yeah no basically uh, uh, during the processing uh, when we are modifying the epoxy resin using the uh, carbon dioxide gas, there is no any chance of gelation. The only chance of gelation when you are uh, co-polymerizing all the monomers because uh, after a certain time, if we keep polymerizing, this will form gel. So uh, uh, gelation is possible in the co-polymerization when we are using ac acrylic and methacrylic uh, monomers and it is not possible when you are using the epoxy resins. Deepak sir, uh, yes sir, Deepak sir, aye. <clears throat> yes, yes. Yes sir, I, please. Yeah, uh, Durgesh, it is very nice to uh, hear from you this this kind of topic. Thank you sir. Is me two three confusion hai. Jo Haan, jis, sir, bata hai. Jana cha raunga. Pehli cheez to ye ki, thik hai, bhoot badi chemistry hai apne mein. Mm -hmm. Jo aapne itne badiya tarikhe se samjaya, sab kuch kiya hai. Par practically, जब हम इसकी बात करते हैं on the real ground mm -hmm. ये कितनी cost effective है <laughs> cost effective बिल्कुल सर अभी हमारे conventional ये... polyurethane से ज़्यादा costly है और exactly अगर मैं बात करूँ तो थोड़ा सा मैं आ, मुझे और देखना पड़ेगा इसके लिए but चूँकि हमारे जो raw material है एक जो catalyst हम use कर रहे हैं इसमें आ, कार्बोनेशन के लिए जो कि इपॉक्सी ग्रुप को साइक्लिक ग्रुप में कन्वर्ट कर रहा है वो कैटलिस्ट अपने आप में ही थोड़ा कॉस्टली है महंगा है जैसे अगर मैं बात करूं तो ये कुछ साढ़े छह हजार रुपए का सौ ग्राम आया था इस तरीके से तो इस मामले में ये कॉस्टली है लेकिन यही था कि पहले इस पे काम करके देखें कि क्या किया जा सकता है कि नहीं फिर फर्दर हम कोई और इसका अल्टरनेटिव सर्च करने के ट्राई कर सकते हैं बाकी जो मेन रॉ मटेरियल्स हैं जैसे इपॉक्सी रेजिन है इपॉक्सी रेजिन तो हम नॉर्मली यूज कर ही रहे हैं उसमें हमारा कॉस्ट बहुत ज्यादा नहीं आता है इसमें एक चीज और बाकी जैसे जी 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 जैसे हमने कहा इसका मेजर जो रॉ मटेरियल है वो है इपॉक्सी रेजिन इपॉक्सी रेजिन का एक अपना एक टेंडेंसी है इट हैज अ वेरी पुअर आउटडोर एक्सपोजर वेयर एज नॉर्मल कन्वेंशनल पीयूज are having <coughs> excellent outdoor exposure right bilkul, bilkul. So when when we right, are sir, making right. poly Agree. when we are making a polyurethane from your uh, uh, nipu process non isocyanate mm -hmm. process yes so sir is is it the same quality they will withstand with outdoor exposure no not at all because the बेसिकली जो इपॉक्सी रेजिन में हमारे आउटडोर एक्सपोजर पुअर होता है वो बेंजीन रिंग की वजह से होता है जो कन्वेंशनल इपॉक्सी है तो उसमें सर हम कोई चेंज नहीं कर रहे हैं तो आउटडोर एक्सपोजर हमारा एज इट इज पुअर ही रहेगा अगर हम बेंजीन वाले इपॉक्सी ही यूज कर रहे हैं तो अगर हमें बेटर आउटडोर एक्सपोजर चाहिए तो हमारा जो मतलब जो बेंजीन रिंग फ्री आता है जैसे उसको बीस 
बीपीएफ बीपीएफ इपॉक्सी रेजिन बोलते हैं उसको यूज करें तो उसमें हमें आउटडोर एक्सपोजर अच्छा मिलेगा इसके अलावा मल्टी फंक्शनल इपॉक्सी होते हैं जो कि पॉलीथर्स भी होते हैं तो अगर हम उसको यूज करें तो उससे भी हमें आउटडोर एक्सपोजर अच्छा मिलेगा तो अगेन ये डिपेंड करेगा कि हम कौन सा इपॉक्सी रेजिन यूज कर रहे हैं तो अगेन जब हम स्पेशलाइज्ड इपॉक्सी रेजेंट से हम प्रोडक्ट अपना सिंथेसाइज करेंगे तो अगेन वो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नहीं रहेगा थोड़ा सा आउटडोर एक्सपोजर तो मिल जाएगा हाँ कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नहीं रहेगा कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नहीं रहेगा किसी भी कंडीशन हाँ, में कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव नहीं रहेगा हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल दैट इज करेक्ट सर तो बहुत बड़ा बहुत बड़ी वर्किंग अभी रिक्वायर्ड है इस टॉपिक पे बिल्कुल तो बिल्कुल सर बहुत बड़ी वर्किंग बनाए रिक्वायर्ड है क्योंकि अल्टीमेटली सारी प्रॉपर्टीज को देखते हुए लास्ट में तो हमें कॉस्ट ही देखना है कि कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव हो तभी वो सस्टेन कर पाएगा हाँ हाँ और दूसरा आई थिंक अभी ये इंट्रोडक्टरी प्रोडक्ट है जैसे मैंने स्टार्टिंग में भी बोला था कि एक नई टेक्नोलॉजी की तरफ एक पहला स्टेप है और देखिए जब पीयू आया था या मैं और पीछे चलू नाइट्रोसेल आया या और पीछे चलू जब एलकिड आया था तो उनकी कॉस्टिंग भी सर जब एक बिल्कुल स्टार्टिंग की बात करूं तो काफी हाई थी और अभी जब ये एक नीपू नया प्रोडक्ट मार्केट में आएगा जब धीरे धीरे और भी इस पर वर्किंग होगी डॉक्टर दुर्गेश ने बहुत अच्छा काम किया है और मैं समझता हूँ कि आने वाले टाइम में दिस फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडस्ट्री फ्यूचर ऑफ कोडिंग इंडस्ट्री में भी तो इस पे अगर ज्यादा काम हो और कुछ और ज्यादा हो तो ये ग्रीन रेवोल्यूशन की तरह भी इसको हम यूज कर सकते हैं बिकॉज आइसोगाइड जैसे स्टार्टिंग में डॉक्टर साहब ने बोला कि ये काफी हार्मफुल रहते हैं और अगर ये नीपू का जो प्रोग्राम है ये अगर अच्छे से चल जाए तो ये अच्छा रिजल्ट दे सकता है इसमें मैं एक बात और ऐड करना चाहूंगा जैसे कि लास्ट टाइम भी एक वेबिनार हुआ था नॉन आइसोसाइनेट पीयू पे वो प्रोफेसर विजय मनारी ने लिया था तो चूंकि उन्होंने बहुत काम कर रखा है यूएसए ईस्टर्न मिशिगन यूनिवर्सिटी में कोटिंग रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट के वो डायरेक्टर हैं तो उनसे भी मेरी पी जब मैं कर रहा था तो उस दौरान बात हुई थी तो उन्होंने बहुत काम किया और उनके यहाँ कुछ ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स मिले थे जैसे आर्मी के लिए कुछ उनको नीपू पे प्रोडक्ट डेवलप करना था तो उन्होंने किया भी था वो काम तो यही है कि इसमें पॉसिबिलिटी है बस ये थोड़े से रिसोर्सेज की भी प्रॉब्लम है और इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की भी प्रॉब्लम है तो इन कंडीशन में जो रिसर्च वर्क हमने किया उसको हमने दिखाया बाकी आगे इसको और ग्रो करना है नो डाउट इसमें बहुत सारे लिमिटेशन है और बहुत ज्यादा इसका फ्यूचर अच्छा है जो अगर अच्छे से काम किया जाए तो सर मुझे ऐसा लगता है डॉक्टर दुर्गेश की आज के क्वेश्चंस भी आपको काफी हेल्प करेंगे आगे इसको और ग्रो करने के लिए हम अगला क्वेश्चन ले रहे हैं मिस्टर मनोज पाटिल सर अपना को अनम्यूट कीजिए सर एंड आज क्वेश्चन प्लीज या गुड इवनिंग इट्स अ वेरी गुड टॉपिक एंड वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव आई एम फ्रॉम डीमेक केमिकल्स एंड वे आर द मैन्युफैक्चरर्स ऑफ दी सॉल्वेंट प्लेस पॉलीयूरिथेन कोटिंग्स सो ओके आई हैव टू क्वेश्चंस first one is that the mostly we recommend or we, we use this to keep polyurethane uh, because of this uh, uh, good uh, tensile strength and high elongation property and uh, impact resistance so yes, is this polymer is tested for these both properties like high elongation and uh, Poly- impact resistance <laughs> For impact resistance, it was tested, but uh, for elongation, it was not tested, sir. Impact resistant uh, resistance was checked for uh, some po- uh, copolymers when cured with the reactive polyamide, and it was obtained good. Like uh, in the impact tester, when we uh, uh, dropped the uh, uh, weight from uh, one feet height, it was okay. uh, acceptable. After that, it was uh, it failed. so for few samples only we checked and a percent elongation we did not didn't check sir okay yes uh, my next question is uh, uh, just you have explained that the, you have used a novel of type of epoxy resins for synthesis so is there any specific requirement or specific objective for, to use this novel of epoxy Uh, the basic objective is to use a multiple epoxy group like the conventional hame kya chahiye sir ek aisa uh, compound chahiye jisme epoxy groups ho to novel ek epoxy ki ek pos- ek we hi ek possibility hai ki usko hum as a raw material use kar sake kyunki usme multiple epoxy groups hote hain jaise multiple epoxy groups milenge usse hum multiple cyclic carbonate groups wala polymer bana sakte hain aur usse fir hum nipo ki taraf badh sakte hain so that is a possibility Oh, and okay. the properties will uh, remain almost same as nolac resin but uh, ek naya addition ye ho jayega ki wo polyurethane linkage isme develop ho jayenge nolac to so uh, multiple multiple sides or multiple linkage correct yes yes mul- yes correct sir correct 
this was the objective uh, but as per as uh, uh, there are uh, tetra functional epoxies also available in market yes you yes want to use the multiple functions again uh, bisphenol a bisphenol f also resins are available so yes 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 do you have done any study on uh, this type of resin no i have not used some uh, many epoxy group but uh, uh, you are right multi multi uh, multifunctional epoxy compounds can be used and uh, this can be studied further i have not carried on uh, out my study on these uh, multiple uh, multifunctional epoxy compounds yeah okay thank you thanks a lot yeah. thank you sir Next thanks a lot from mr amol kulkarni kindly unmute yourself sir mr amol kulkarni kindly unmute yourself please yes hello sir hello, hello sir. sir hello sir ha main sangli se arun pen industry se baat kar raha hu ji bataye sir एप्लीकेशन में आपने लिखा है एडिसिव यानी इपोक्सी पुट्टी और इपोक्सी एडिसिव में यूज कर सकते हैं इसमें इपोक्सी एडिसिव में अभी सर हमने कोई प्रॉपर्टी मतलब अपने पीएचडी के काम में स्टडी नहीं किया कि एज एडिसिव इसको यूज कर सकते हैं नहीं लेकिन लिटरेचर में जब मैं सर्वे कर रहा था तो देखा था कि एज एडिसिव भी यूज किया जा सकता है एक बहुत ही पॉपुलर रिसर्च है मिस्टर सत्यनारायण रेड्डी का उन्होंने अपने पीएचडी इसी में की थी कि कैसे नीपू से एडहेसिव बनाया जा सकता है तो आप मुझे कनेक्ट करिएगा मैं आपको वो शेयर कर दूंगा डॉक्यूमेंट उनकी पूरी पीएचडी इसी पे थी मेरा एडहेसिव पे नहीं था मैंने कोटिंग डेवलप किया था बट आल्सो नीपू से हम एडहेसिव डेवलप कर सकते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ओके अभी किसी का क्वेश्चन है तो Nikhil ji, yes, Nikhil ji was watching continuation of chat. Nikhil ji, please ask a question. Unmute yourself, please. Hello. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Please. Uh, thanks for your wonderful presentation, sir. Just I want to know: Is it possible to cure this nipo film at room temperature? Yes, yes. It is possible to cure at room temperature when, uh, uh, if we use a multifunctional epoxy compound, and you, uh, when we cure with the cycloaliphatic diamines. it is possible to basically uh, for the room temperature curable we need uh, two component or uh, two component system like one ke thermoset coatings like uh, i showed in the uh, slide uh, first we synthesize the non isocyanate pu polyol and after that we can cross link it with the conventional polyols and uh, apart from this the multifunctional epoxy groups can also be used as a curing agent when we synthesize the amine terminated pre polymers जैसे जो हम साइक्लिक कार्बोनेट और एमिन की रिएक्शन करा रहे हैं इसी में अगर हम एमिन की क्वांटिटी ज्यादा लें तो हमें एक ऐसा प्रीपोलिमर मिलेगा जिसमें कि टर्मिनल्स पे एमिन ग्रुप होंगे अब जब उस पूरे प्रीपोलिमर की हम किसी मल्टीफंक्शनल फंक्शनल इपॉक्सी से कराते हैं तो सिंपल इपॉक्सी एमिन की जैसे रिएक्शन रूम टेम्परेचर पे हो जाती है उस तरीके का सिस्टम हम डेवलप कर सकते हैं ओके सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ओके मिस्टर हर्षल राठौर डिफरेंस इन नीपू एंड पीयू कन्वेंशनल पीयू इन टर्म्स ऑफ देयर मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज अगेन आई हैव नॉट कैरीड आउट स्पेसिफिक स्टडी ऑन दिस कंपैरिजन बट इन द टर्म्स ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल्स एंड अदर पैरामीटर्स वी कैन से दैट इट इज इको फ्रेंडली बट योर पॉइंट इज राइट वी कैन कंडक्ट द स्टडी ऑफ द कंपेरिजन ऑफ द कन्वेंशनल पॉलियोरिथेन एंड द नॉन आइसोसैनिट पॉलियोरिथेन इन द टर्म्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल एंड केमिकल रेजिस्टेंस प्रॉपर्टीज ओके दिस इज ग्रेट सर okay now we are maybe going to conclusion and uh, we are going to wind up this uh, webinar uh, we allowed everybody they they can unmute themselves sir you can also stop the sharing of your screen please okay fine thank you once ah okay jaisa ki hamara riwaj hai hum log खैर आज की प्रेजेंटेशन तो वाकई में एक एक बहुत बढ़िया स्टेप है टुवर्ड्स अ न्यू न्यू इन्वेंशन एंड मैं सभी से रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा कि आप सभी अपने आप को अनम्यूट कर लें बिकॉज वी ऑलवेज डू दिस थिंग कि हुआर इज द यू नो स्पीकर हम लोग उसके लिए एक अपलॉज जरूर करते हैं इन द एंड एंड 
अभी कोई क्वेश्चन किसी के रह गए हो तो पूछ सकते हैं बट टाइम हमारे पास कम है एक आध क्वेश्चन में ले सकता हूं अगर किसी का है तो सर इफ एनी बडी वॉन्ट टू आस्क एनी थिंग सर मैं बोलना चाहता था हेलो यस सर जी नायक बोल रहा हूँ हेलो हाँ सर एक्चुअली अच्छा वर्क इज गुड बट मेरा मेरा एक सजेशन है कि यू हैव टू यू शुड नॉट गो ऑन द इपोक्सी रेजिन बिकॉज द इपोक्सी ऑलरेडी वेल प्रूवेन एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हेन यू आर डूइंग ऑल दिस रिएक्शन नो इट्स परफॉर्मेंस यू आर डिक्रीजिंग सो जैसा मैं आपका स्लाइड से देखा था इम्पैक्ट स्ट्रेंथ मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टी जो भी चेक देख रहा था मैं तो वो नॉर्मल इपोक्सी वेन कम्पेयर टू द नॉर्मल इपोक्सी वही इपोक्सी से आप जब पेंट बनाओगे वो प्रॉपर्टी से आपको इन्फीरियर प्रॉपर्टी दिख रहा है आपका जो इसमें जैसे आपने वो अक्रेलिक पॉलियाल्स जैसे लिया था अक्रेलिक मोनोमर्स जो है ऑन दैट एंड सम ऑयल रिलेटेड ऑयल रिलेटेड जो मोनोमर्स लिया था कैस्ट ऑयल लिया जैसा ऐसा करेगा तो इन दैट इट इज दैट ऑयल इज ऑल्सो कमिंग फ्रॉम नेचर एंड देन यू कैन कम्प्लीटली से इट इज ए नॉन टॉक्सिक पॉलिया ये निप करके ये बोल सकते बट वेन एग्जिस्टिंग ऑलरेडी प्रूवेन रेजिन्स आर देर ऑन दैट वेन यू आर मॉडिफाइंग उसका परफॉर्मेंस कम हो रहा है इधर एज पर द स्लाइड्स आपका देख रहा है हां जी जी माय सजेशन है ऐसा नहीं मैं ऐसे ही बोल रहा था थैंक यू थैंक यू बहुत बहुत ऐसा है ना देखिए अभी मैंने जैसे स्टार्टिंग वाला का डट वाला और वाला थैंक यू एज एज आई एज आई सेड इन द स्टार्टिंग दिस इज अ इन्वेंशन दिस इज अ स्टार्टिंग एंड मेनी थिंग्स आर यू नो एक होता है कि साहब हम लोग शुरुआत कर रहे हैं तो झंडा तो कोई उठाएगा तो डॉक्टर दुर्गेश ने इसका झंडा उठाया है मेनी सजेशंस शुड कम एंड आई पर्सनली थिंक दैट डॉक्टर दुर्गेश हैज डन अ वंडरफुल जॉब यस यस सर आई कैन ओके वन वेरी ग्रेट पर्सन इज आल्सो डॉक्टर गौरव वेलकम डॉक्टर गौरव ओके अभी डॉक्टर साहब कुछ कहना चाहते हैं क्या डॉक्टर गौरव हेलो मनीष जी हाउ आर यू वेरी फाइन सर इट्स बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम डॉक्टर Uh, we are we are watching you आप कुछ नया और करें और नई चीजें और लेके आए एंड uh, कुछ नया और पेंट इंडस्ट्री कोटिंग इंडस्ट्री को दें सो so, अभी हम रिकॉर्डिंग आप बंद करने वाले हैं थैंक यू